Please call me back when you get this. Your psycho girlfriend has just attacked me. I didn't mean to hit her. There was extenuating circumstances. I swear I did nothing. That's a lie. She broke into the office. She turned the place over. All my presentation were ruined. That just... It wasn't me. Oh, place trashed itself, did it? Well, I know that I shouldn't have slapped her, OK? But you should have heard the bile that was coming out of her mouth. Honestly, I was seriously provoked. Yeah, because you started having a go at me on the street for no reason. It wasn't for no reason. Look, I am sorry that I slapped you, right? But you know what you did. I actually have no idea what you're on about. But thanks, because you've done me a massive favour. You and Dad are over. Well, there she is. How did the big presentation go? Uh, weighing it all up, it uh, could have gone better. Some malicious little madam broke into the office and trashed the place before the clients arrived. You're joking. Who did that? Oh, not Liana. Bingo. Oh. Saxon and Mindy were so shaken up, I wouldn't be surprised if they postponed their entire wedding. Do you know for sure it was Liana? Who else could it have been? You told Liam. He's going to be livid. He is livid. There's a... There's a possibility I didn't handle things as well as I could have done. What did you do? I slapped her face. You idiot. In my defence, David, she was asking for it. Oh, my God. She was asking for it. I've given her exactly what she wants. What are you talking about? I played right into her hands. She's, she's the helpless damsel in distress and I'm the big meanie who goes around hitting kids in the street. <laughs> He's definitely going to leave me now. Oh, you don't know that. Yes, I do know that. That's me, Leila Hardy. Back on the scrap heap. I underestimated her. She's a monster. Or she's genuinely missing her dad and someone else trash to take her out. Yeah. Right. She's probably with him now. Bending his ear, dripping a poison. See? Well. See. Told you. Can we talk? I think I know what you're gonna say. And um before you say it, I just wanna say that I've stepped in cake again now. Um I have never felt like this about anyone else before. And when I think about my future, I see you, I see you right there with me. I am in an impossible position. Yeah, I know. You know, my dad only ever gave me two pieces of advice. He said, being a man it's not about how many women you've been with or how big your car is or any of that rubbish. It's about how you face up to your responsibilities. What, what was his other bit of advice? Um, never dip your wick in the office ink. Wise words. How come you never talk about your dad? He ran off with the office secretary when I was eight. But my point is, I've neglected my responsibilities. You know... Liana is and always will be the most important person in my life. Yeah, but th there's room for more than just one person in your life. I know. Just not right now. I need to fix. I need to fix my family first. So that's it then, is it? We're over. I'm sorry. I've made such a pig's ear of everything. I I really never meant to hurt anyone. I'll, um, I'll go over to yours and pick up my stuff as soon as possible. You know. Thank God you're here. Where else would it be? I thought you might have been arrested or something. It's not legal, is it, to be terminally tragic? You've got a bit of... No, thanks. Doesn't seem like a champagne kind of moment. I thought I'd, um, throw myself a little pity party. Here's a toast to the endless calamity that is my love life. Oh, he, yeah. uh, left me. Yeah, Leila, I'm sorry. Mm. He left me for his daughter, so I'm not allowed to be upset about that, am I? Cos then that'll make me look like a bad person. Mm. Yeah, I think that horse kind of bolted when you slapped around the face. I found the one. And then there was none. How much of that have you had? Some second bottle. 
It tastes so bad after about eight glasses. All right, well, that's something. I've got this theory that Megan put a jinx on the place. She had such bad luck, it's like it seeped into the walls and jinxed us to have bad love lives forever. What about if it's me? What about if I'm the jinx? Come on now, you're being silly. I am a wedding planner. Yet the aisle has eluded me again. Look at him. Stupid cow I ate her. Just give Liam some time and then talk to him. Do you know, I never asked him to move in with us. But when he did, it was like living in a dream. It was so perfect. <laughs> and you weren't going to laugh. Come on, let's get you on. I loved him so much, David, I really did. I loved him since Christmas. Say again? I loved him since Christmas time. <laughs> and I never told him because I didn't, I didn't want to scare him off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's worked all over.